So recently, Microsoft released the Windows 10 Fall Creators Update with lots of new features. Some are more obvious than others and of course some are also more useful than others. In this video, I'll be discussing my 10 best new features. This listing is in no particular order and might not necessarily be the best for everyone, but they are quite cool features to check out, so let's get to it. Starting with the most obvious one, the My People feature. This appears automatically on your taskbar after upgrading from the previous version of Windows 10. This feature allows you to manage all your contacts in one place and access chat apps and conversations more easily. Here the idea is to make your Windows experience a little more personal. With this feature, you can pin your frequent contacts to the taskbar, so dropping a note to a co-worker or a friend or a family member could be done in just one click. The cool thing about this feature is that it allows you to add contacts from multiple apps and platforms. So it doesn't matter if it's a Skype contact or an email contact, they can all be combined into this app. Meanwhile, you can also add a contact by using the new contact form. With a contact pinned to your taskbar, with this feature, you can easily drag and drop files and photos against it and it will be delivered to the contact via the original application. The next cool feature is the OneDrive File On Demand feature. This allows you to access your files in the cloud without using up your device storage. Sounds like what we've always had from the previous version of Windows, but here is the difference. With the 4 Creators Update version, you no longer need to download these files to your device in order to view or modify them. From your file explorer, you can see all your files including the online only files and work with them just like every other file on your device. This is quite a big one for me. The online only files are marked by the cloud icon on the left corner. These files don't download to your device until you open them and then they become locally available. Locally available files are marked by a green circle with a green check mark. They can be opened anytime even without internet connection. If you need more space and want to change a file back to online only file, you can simply right click and select free up space. Another category of files with this feature is the always available files. They are marked by the green circle with a white check mark in the middle. These files would always be available even when you are offline, so they would always take up storage space on your device. Now this third feature is rather subtle, however it's a feature most people would find interesting and that is the new emoji shortcut. Using the keyboard combination window plus column, you are able to access Microsoft collection of emojis on virtually any application or platform. Be it your rich text editors like office applications or very basic text editors like notepad. The emojis may appear different for different applications, but virtually every application has a way of accepting these emojis. If you are curious on how far this new emoji feature can go, well, I would say on any platform where you can use your normal letters and characters from your keyboard, even the least expected ones like your search engines your, or your, even your email address field, which is kind of funny. But the idea here is to make the emoji feature a bit more universal and easy to access on any platform. The fourth cool feature is the phone linking feature. This can be found from your Windows settings page. It allows you to link your phone to your PC using your Microsoft account. With your phone linked to your PC, you are able to use the cross device browsing feature, which basically allows you to continue your phone browsing sessions on your PC. This feature will of course require an initial setup with your phone, so once you are logged in with Microsoft account and you add your phone number to the app, you will receive an SMS directing you to install the Microsoft Launcher app for Android. This app includes the Microsoft app, the customizable wallpaper and all that, so upon launching this app for the first time, it guides you on how to complete the linking between your phone and your PC and then the cross-browsing feature is enabled. Quite cool. The next feature is more like an improvement on the Edge browser, another move by Microsoft to make Windows experience a bit more personal, and that is the pin web page to taskbar feature. This is basically bringing the bookmarking concept from your web browser to your taskbar. So while browsing on your Edge browser and you come across a page you want to revisit or a site you visit frequently and wish to pin it to your taskbar, simply click on the three dot icon on the top right corner of the page and select pin this page to the taskbar and the page will immediately appear in your taskbar from where you can open it in just one click.
To unpin, simply right click and select unpin from your taskbar. The next cool feature is the Story Remix feature. This is essentially a basic video editing tool that allows you to combine your photos and videos with an impressive touch of 3D. The Story Remix feature is designed to be an improvement on your Photos app. Microsoft describes this as an evolution of the Photos app. This feature is similar to the Movie Maker software we used to have back in Windows, only that this time it's sort of more on the photo editing side. The Remix 3D addition makes the Remix tool even more fun to use, with a series of free 3D templates online so you are able to build on existing projects and create some cool videos with good soundtrack and simple transitions. Another interesting feature with the 4 Creators update is the Mixed Reality feature. You have the Mixed Reality portal where you can explore a virtual Windows workspace in some kind of gaming environment. This cool feature has very high demand on hardware requirements with, with, with an option of attaching the Windows Mixed Reality headset for enhanced experience. So most typical consumer laptops won't be able to handle these features due to hardware limitations. A more accessible Mixed Reality feature is the Mixed Reality Viewer. This is similar to the Story Remix feature I talked about earlier, only that this time it allows you to see the 3D object mixed into your actual surrounding and objects using the webcam. So obviously Microsoft is on a move to bring Mixed Reality experience as close as possible to everyday end users. The eighth cool feature is the GPU performance monitor added to your Windows Task Manager. Now for a lot of people this might not seem as an important feature yet except for gamers or video makers and graphic designers. However, with the move of Windows towards virtual reality and 3D experience, the role of the graphic processing unit will start to become more essential for everyday users as well. Just like most people are now accustomed to checking their CPU performance and what applications take the most CPU cycles, the GPU performance monitor will be tracking the performance for both the integrated and dedicated GPU and display them separately on the task manager. By clicking on the GPU, it shows graphs of 3D, copy, video encode, video decode, dedicated memory usage and shared memory usage. You can change the positions of the graphs and you can also change what information is displayed on each graph using the drop down arrow next to each parameter. The ninth feature is another feature that might be too subtle for most users to notice and that is the new video playback settings page. This can be found under the app settings. The idea here is to optimize video playback experience for both battery life and viewers experience. You find such options that allow you to automatically process video to enhance it. Of course this will depend on your device hardware. You could also choose to play your videos on lower resolution to cut down on network bandwidth usage. Then under the battery option, you can choose to optimize for battery life or for video quality depending on your current needs. You could also choose to allow your video to play at lower resolution when on battery. So if you are traveling and not sure if you find a power outlet along the way, then this setting might come in handy for you. The last feature I'll be talking about is a little more technical but also worth mentioning and that is the ransomware protection using controlled folder access. This is found in your Windows Defender Security Center under Virus and Threat Protection Settings. So why is this feature important? Well, with more and more apps hitting the Microsoft App Store, it becomes more and more difficult to figure out which publishers are reliable. And usually when you install some apps, you automatically give them access to your folder with little or no information about the app publisher. And that is where this feature becomes very useful. It protects your files and folders from unauthorized changes by unfriendly applications, more like a ransomware protection. So you can activate this feature by simply turning on the option and clicking yes on the user account control pop-up. And when you click on protected folders, it shows a list of protected folders. From here, you can manually add more folders. And if some of your trusted apps get blocked by this feature, then you can manually grant them access by using the allow an app through controlled folder access option. And these are my 10 favorite features from the Windows 10 for Creators update. Later, I'll be making some more detailed review of some of these features. Have you already installed the Fall Creators update? And have you started trying out some of these new features? 
Please share your favorite features in the comment section below even if they are not in this list. And if you are yet to install the update, you can follow the directions I shared in this previous video to get it. It's quite an easy process. I will also add a link to the description section below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button to get notifications on future videos. Thanks for watching and see you again soon.